After six years in hiding, hit and run killer Wayne Smith is ready to give himself up. The relevant part of all of this is getting closure and justice for the family. They've suffered immensely. Their loss is tragic. And I sympathise you know, truly and deeply with that. And nobody would turn their clocks back more than me if it was possible. What's the reality been like for you here? There's no holiday life for us. We don't have any money. You know, we struggle from day to day to make ends meet. We've been lucky that over time that we've been here, we've made some true unbiased friends. And friends have supported us and helped us along the way. You know, unbeknown to them at the time, they didn't know the reasons we left the UK. Obviously, now they do. I mean, nobody knew that part of your life. No. No. But I didn't come here and alter my name. I didn't come here and alter my appearance. So I, and if anybody has challenged me over the fact, I've always been open and honest with them. Smith fled to Turkish-controlled northern Cyprus shortly after his conviction in 2006. This part of the divided island has no extradition treaty with the UK. Although many Brits live here and holiday here, Britain has no diplomatic relations with the unrecognised state. So Smith has been free to enjoy the easy lifestyle. But a month ago, Smith and his partner, Julianne Skelding, were exposed as two of Britain's most wanted fugitives. Wayne Smith, wanted for death by dangerous driving. Smith was convicted of killing a pedestrian, his girlfriend of giving him a false alibi. There are far worse criminals out there that warrant being on Britain's most wanted list. Terrorists, murderers, etc. I don't, for any reason, put myself in the same category as these people. I had a genuine car accident. Um, and to be portrayed like that to the public is um, hurtful. Smith was driving on this Birmingham road when he ran over and killed a pedestrian who'd already been hit by another car. The family of his victim, Mohammed Idris, have urged Smith to return to the UK and face justice. Smith says he fled the UK because it had death threats and believed he was wrongly convicted in what was no more than a tragic car accident. You killed a man. Without question. Um, how much sympathy do you really expect? I don't expect any sympathy from the public. What I did was wrong, but it was wrong with no intention. It was a genuine car accident. It seems Wayne Smith is determined to go home. To do so, he has to cross the border from here in the Turkish north to the Greek south, where he's expected to be arrested and sent back to the UK. But there's a problem as he sees it. His British passport and his visa for northern Cyprus have run out, and he fears the Turkish border authorities will arrest him and throw him into jail for document violations before he can get across. The British High Commission has told Smith it can't help him while he stays in the north and he must take his chances crossing the border. So I hold my hands up to the British High Commission and I'm still here two, three weeks down the line and several emails later. Smith says it's left him feeling like a most wanted fugitive who isn't really wanted that badly at all. Martin Brunt, Sky News, Cyprus.